everyone, it's me, your awesome Monica, and welcome to my channel. So guys, today we are going to teach you how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. And it's actually two simple steps. Yeah, that's right. It's actually two simple steps. It's actually quick and easy because you can actually do it in just about five seconds. It's about five seconds. So, if you want to know how to do it, watch and learn from this video. Okay, let's have 6 minus 2 fifths as an example. So here, which one is the whole number? Unico. Six. <laughs> okay, six is the whole number. That's correct. Okay, whole number. Okay, and then two fifths. What do you call this two fifths? In proper fraction. Okay, it's proper fraction. When we say proper fraction, um, that means that the numerator, this is the numerator, the numerator is less than the denominator. This is the denominator, the one at the bottom. Okay, so two-fifths, that is an example of proper fraction. And when we say improper fraction, improper fraction, it's the vice versa. It means that the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, vice versa. Five halves. So, this is an example of improper fraction. Five halves. Okay. So, there you go. Again, pag proper fraction po, ang halaga ng numerator ay mas mababa sa halaga ng denominator. Kapag naman po improper fraction, ang halaga ng numerator ay mas malaki kesa sa halaga ng denominator. Okay, so there you go. Going back to our example, Let's erase this first. Okay, let's erase it. Okay. Okay, 6. That's 6 minus 2 fifths. Yeah. So, there. 6 minus 2 fifths. Okay, so since this is a proper fraction, it means this is um, lower than... The whole number. Yes, it's lower than the whole number. It's always, um, proper fraction is always lower than the whole number. So, in this case, for purposes, for purposes of um, getting a quick answer, um, mental calculation that is, um, we'll just round this off to 1. So, that will give us 6 minus 1. That's 5. Um, kasi po, niround off natin yung 2 fifths sa yes. 1. So, 6 minus 1, 5. 5. And then, to get the exact answer, let's just copy the denominator 5. And then, and then subtract 5 by 2, which is equal to 3. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Um, we will subtract the numerator, this one, to the from the denominator so it's 5 minus 2 that's 3 okay so here so the answer is 5, five three. and 3 fifths okay there you go so let's have another example very easy right yes it's easy actually madali lang siya okay let's have another example so 10 minus 2 thirds Okay, again, we will round this off. The 
the proper fraction here will round it off to 1. So that's 10 minus 1, it's 9. Yes, 9. And then what are we going to do again, Uniko? Let's uh, just the no. Let's uh, just copy the denominator. Uh, no, yes, denominator first. And, and then, then subtract, subtract the, three. the three minus two. Yes, so it's one, one third. So nine and one third. Yes. That's quick. That's quick. Okay. So another one. Four minus one half. One half. Okay. So again. Four. 4 minus 1. 3. So it's 3 and then copy the denominator. It's 2. And then 2 minus 1. It's 1. Okay, very easy. 3, 1 half. Um, for the last one, let's have 9 minus 5 eighths. Okay. So again, round it off to 1. 9 minus 1. So that will give us 8. 8 and then copy the denominator 8 and then 8 minus 5 that's 3 yes it's okay three. so 8 and 3 eighths so now to check these answers let's use the long method anyway please remember that this trick is for purposes of getting a quick answer but of course, if the question is asking you to show the solution, then you have to use the long method. Now, let's go to the other side of the board. Okay, here. So, so okay. So, for the first question, we have... We have 6 minus 2 fifths. Okay. Okay, first we have to... Uh, can, can, we, can we subtract 6 minus 2 fifths? No. No. We have to convert the, the, the whole number first into a fraction. So yes, by adding 1. By doing that, we need to put... One. one as the denominator. denominator okay very good but you still can subtract them yes that's correct you cannot subtract them because they have to have the, the same, same common the, uh, the same or common denominator yes so between one and five which are we getting so we need to get the least common denominator between the two yes. so in this case we need to get five so that means we're going to multiply this value, the value of 6 over 1, by 5. So that's 1 times 5, it's 5, and then 6 times 5, that will give us 30. Okay? And then minus, of course, this value will be the same, 5, 2. Always remember that if we are going to change the value of the denominator, we also have to change the value of the numerator. Okay. Otherwise, the value of the entire given number will change. Okay, so it has to be um, changing the denominator and then also changing the numerator. Okay. So... Okay, 13 minus 2. 28. That's 28, correct? And copy the denominator. Okay, so we have to convert this to a mixed number. Yes, convert and, into mix, mixed number. Okay, so that's 28 divided by 5. So that will... That will, that will be 5, and then 5 times 5, 25, we will have a remainder of 3, okay? So that's 5, 3, and 5th. 
This is our answer. Do we have the same answer? Yes, we do. As the, as what we have a while back. Yes. Okay. It's the same. There you so, go. Five three fifths and five three fifths. So we can check that. Okay. Check. There you go. Okay. And then, okay. Let's go to the second. Okay, so So it's 10 minus 2 thirds So we have to Place a denominator one here and again We cannot subtract it just yet because they have different denominators so between 1 and 3 the greater num the greater denominator is 3 so we're gonna use 3 so since we are multiplying this by 3 we have to multiply 10 by 3 so it's gonna be 30 that will give us 30 so 30 over 3 minus this, this, the value of this one is the same. Two thirds. So thirty minus two. Unico. Oh, okay, it's twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight. Very good. And then capita in a So that's twenty-eight over three. And then we will have again to convert this to mixed number. So we have. 28 divided by 3 so how many 3's do we have in 28 we have 9 yes 9 3 ok 9 times 3 that's 27 we have a remainder 1 we have to put it here and then copy the denominator 3 so that's 9 over 3. Yes. Do we have the same answer here? Of course we do. Check. Okay, very good. So, there. Okay, let's move on. To the next one. Um, 4 and minus 1 half. Okay, let's put one here and again we cannot subtract it just yet so let's use two as the denominator that means we're going to multiply it by two so two times four that's eight and then minus still one half yes so again eight minus one that's seven. Yes, seven. Seven halves. And then we will have to convert it again to mixed mix. number. So it's seven here to here. So how many twos do we have in seven? So we have three. So yes. it's three. Three times two, that's six. We have a remainder one. So that's Three and one half. Yes, one half. Do we have the same answer here? Yay! We, we have the same answer here. Check. So this one really works. Okay, check. Okay, and for the last one. Okay, the last one. Let's check the last one. Have the same answer. So that's nine. Minus five eight. One. Okay. Um. So between one and eight, we'll use eight as common denominator. So that will uh that will need to multiply nine times eight. So that's seventy two. Yes. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> minus 5 5 over 8 so 72 minus 5 again unico 72 minus 5 so that's 60, uh, that's 67 uh, 67 okay over 8. Okay. Yes. So, okay. let's convert that into a mixed number. So, 67, 8. How many 8 do we have in 67? We have 8. Yes, we have 8. So, 8 times 8 is 64. We have a remainder 3. So, that will give us 3 over 8. And... We have the same answer as here. So it means it totally works. Yeah, it means it totally works. Okay, there you go. Alright, so let's erase this. So now let's erase this. Yeah, we're going to erase this. And we'll have an exercise. Oh, yes. I will have an exercise for this. Okay, so now let's have um, an exercise. Let's see how fast Unico can answer this question. But of course, it doesn't matter if it's more than five seconds. We, we are just we just want to show you how easy this trick can be. Okay, so it's nine keep the minus keep the marker three. open. Okay. Four. Okay, start. Okay, there you go. Yay! So guys, I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, why not give us a like and subscribe? So Stay awesome and goodbye. Thank you everyone for watching this video.